Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I got requested to go do some Frostcraft Aerial Hammer. Specifically the aerial part of it is going to be a little bit tedious, but we'll see what I can do. And I think the best way to do that would be to take it into an arena. I'm thinking maybe a Tigrex. So this quest here, just so we get the slope to actually use. Alright, let's go. So my idea here is I can at least take him over to the slope there and land a big spinning like bludgeon on him or I can use the ledge here and just abuse that but uh obviously we're still gonna start with the wall bang get him agitated and whatnot get that free damage from agitator essentially we actually put him on the wall here I should weaken but I think this is a pretty good chance to smack his face charge up the hammer get the spin going okay not all that great but I don't think it crit because uh it's not angry. He's also not weakened. I also don't have um, stun res on here, which is a little bit scary. feel like I'm going to take a lot of unnecessary hits. So getting stunned might be an issue. But we'll see. We'll definitely see here. Oh, that's not sliding. Why is that not sliding? I did put recovery up on here though. So hopefully we can get some extra stuff from that. And just move. I didn't want to move that far, but I'll take it. No, no, no. Again, just always use the top right. I find it's the most reliable way to do it. If it's not there for you, I think there's a setting to turn it off, and that's why it's not there. But uh, that'd probably be why. One, two, three. Bang. Okay. Did I not charge it long enough? That's fine. Maybe I'm forgetting. Like, maybe it has one more level to the swing. There we go. He's also almost perfectly positioned here, so let's go a tiny bit up try get the slide there nice and easy oh my god the damage actually we've got half a frostcraft meter so i'm gonna do another one. Oh my goodness that's disgusting slam to cancel it and we'll do upswing why not nope okay chuck that away so we get some meter 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 that's a good opening does this i think it might actually let me stay in the spinning animation if i uh have temporal here so this is actually a pretty good idea two three maybe slide please no it didn't slide okay we still got enough meter there we go didn't hit anything good with it that's all good get some gauge back yeah you specifically said to do aerial in the first half of the message so i'm gonna try and do as much as that as i can obviously would be a lot more efficient if i just did it regularly but that's okay nope get some smacks on the face maybe i'm gonna hold it a bit longer here see if it uh if i just didn't charge it enough it's very very likely i usually just get off the mount immediately because uh i want to keep doing the fight and just get better at the fight by not abusing the mount knockdown but we'll see one two three okay i guess i just let go too early it did it on its own that time but it did do a little bit more damage so maybe that's why nice and easy not too bad. Yeah, it was definitely just not enraged. And that's why it did a bit less the first time. Where it only got up to like 500. Oh, went down the ledge a little bit. Bad for him. Great for me. It does save me. Okay, beautiful. Let's put the weapon away for a second. About there, I reckon. Just get a little bit of charge. Slide, please. Okay. That's not the worst. Definitely would have preferred to hit the face, but it decided to refuse to slide nice temporal we get a clagger we'll extend it because i get some gauge back maybe in time i'll take it we lost quite a chunk of damage there by not charging up the hammer but uh it is what it is got enraged maybe we can uh meet him on the way run at me yeah i'm coming for you buddy ah <laughs> i was trying to make the big hit land on him to maybe get a stagger or something he's going for a run we'll try it again I'm way too late that time. Yeah, we get hit. There's nothing I can do there. That's fine. Really? Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. Thank you. I, I greatly appreciate that we're on a slope, so I can't Superman dive any of this. And I'm probably stunned here. No? I don't know why I'm not stunned. Yep, the, the AI in this game can be so perfect at times. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is so tilting. 
Okay. At least he stopped. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm glad that this is how the second half of the hunt has gone. Just getting charged six times in a row. That's fantastic. Okay, no. That's fine. Slide, maybe. No stagger, unfortunately. I'm going to pick up this rock so I can start interrupting the runs. Because I'm kind of getting sick of that. This also destroys your sharpness as well. So it's not really all that ideal, in my opinion. It's just a goofy thing to do. Okay, there we go. Cancel it with the down slam into upswing. It miss. Unfortunate, because he definitely didn't miss me. But that's fine. Can't have what we want. Ah, oh, pain. One hit. Definitely wanted to get more hits than one there. But that's okay. We'll still take it. Try and get the uh, spinning bludgeon on this knockdown as well. The playstyle is plenty of fun though. I just didn't know what other monster to choose for this. So, having him run across the map randomly is uh, not at all... At all not at all ideal. About there, I reckon. Slide, please. God. <laughs> just, just start the slide. Okay, thank you. Jeez. That was so much fun until the second half of that. And then obviously we got hits back. I also had sleep on the cat, but he didn't put it to sleep. I had sleep there in case I could get like a free sharpen or something. So I didn't have to drop down to blue. It was pretty crispy when I actually landed hits on the weakened part. You saw it was dealing like 300 damage per rotation there. And then like eight to 900 on the landing. And then the upswing, obviously, as well. Helps out. But I'd rather just use a proper set, man. You're not supposed to play hammer exclusively... Or with any weapon, you're not supposed to play exclusively one way. I think I might take it to a Zenoga as well. Fight the spinny boy with the spinny hammer. Could be pretty fun. And he has a lot less running animations. So it might be enjoyable in that sense. And that quest is, of course, this one here. Alrighty, let's go. I also might actually use... Nah. Yeah, we'll do something different this time. We'll just use this ledge here instead of doing the slope. Because it also might just be better to do that on Zenoga. Because obviously Zenoga's a reasonably quick lad. Uh, will this reach the wall? It should. If it does, we can weaken the face and the arms afterwards. Oh, it didn't reach. Okay, that's fine. He's roaring anyway. He got enraged off that. Right, because it was two... It was two swings. Or well, two turns. Let's go over here, get some rocks, even though I don't need them. So I have it to pick him up in case he gets out of enrage or something. Let's do some of these. I should have not charged my hammer, but that's okay. Did not hit a weak zone. Nope. Nope. You want to spin for me? Thank you. Off the ledge. Okay, that didn't do much. Let's do another one. Oh, no, I missed. Did not want to charge up the hammer. That's okay. Okay, a little bit there. Could also use the mushroom walls, obviously. But, uh... Oh, another one. Doesn't work all that well. Well, it does work that well. It's just, like, inconsistent. Although, all of this is inconsistent, so... We'll see. Okay, another one. It's too far. Grab him. I'll take it. That was kind of lucky. I'll take it. There's our stun. He's actually right next to a ledge. This is perfect. 300. That's so much worse than what we were doing before. <laughs> That's okay. Ah. Okay. We got a little bit of fun at least. Just weaken this arm. Try to get some trips maybe. Nice and easy. Yep, I still got that. Let's actually take him over here. I said I wasn't going to use the slope, but uh, seeing that damage, it was pitiful in comparison to what we were doing. It probably, like, based on hit zones as well, obviously. That I was just dealing much, much less than I was last hunt. But we'll see. Force that in range and get a knockdown on the slope. Very lovely. Surely it'll let me slide this way, right? Surely. Maybe. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, it's just hit zones. I guess Tiki has some really juicy hit zones for this then. Because, uh, th this is drastically less. Bonk. 
<laughs> this time we'll take them out because he's on the slope, obviously. Can get that big spinning. Big spinning moves of the aerialness. Should be a free knockdown, essentially. Stop that. Okay. I actually got a really cool kill on um, Sonoga with Greatsword when I was farming out some coal for these gourmet tickets that I've got now. Um, I got the mount over near that ledge, and it actually took me over to the tree. Now, as I got to the tree... Oh, I didn't jump. That's so tilting. As I got to the tree, I finished the mount, and then it grabbed onto the wall. And then, on the way down, I got a uh, charge level 3 from the air, and it killed him. It was beautiful. Bonk. That's some better damage. Bonk. I don't know why we were dealing like 300 before. But uh, that's definitely much better. We'll definitely take those. Can I slide please? Thank you. Bonk. What? It drops so much. I guess it's because uh, Agitator's gone now. Ah. Slope. Can't roll. Nope. Upswing maybe? I'll take it. Let's charge that up again. Nope. You're gonna spin? Easy stuff. One more. No? What are you doing? Finish the combo, please. He he's just refusing to actually do the rest of the combo now. I don't know why. But that's fine. Oh, I don't have rocks. I'm just gonna enrage him then. One, two, and three. And we'll weaken the face because he should hop back and we get plenty of time. Beautiful. Roll through it. Oh, we missed a big hit. Nope. It's going for the cat. Maybe we get a spin. If it would slide. Thank you. Eh. 700. Not bad. Again, I don't know why I was dealing so much less at the slope before. Like the uh, the ledge we were at. But that's fine. Oh, this is going to be juicy. Okay, that's some better numbers. That's what we should have been seeing. Very lovely. Nope. The wind pressure. Okay. Charge her up again. If only I knew he was going to roar out of that. Slam to cancel it. Upswing. Is his arm not weakened anymore? That's unfortunate. I thought it was. Don't hit me. Okay, we take those. <laughs> the thunder didn't hit me. We love to see that. Okay. Could definitely jump off and get another aerial in the face. But again, since he's like near the slope here, should definitely go for the full knockdown at least, if I can. To get it set up for the slope with the spin. Okay, let's go to the face. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess just let it go fully. Because I, I was letting go at three as if it was like a different weapon. Oh my god, the damage. That's so much better than it was. No, we missed the upswing. Jump back for me. Get him. No, why did it... Mm. Whatever. I'm so mad. It stopped sliding as I got to him. Or as I let go of the button, essentially. Whatever. Does he get up and spin? I think he might. He did not. Okay. That's fine. There's the spin. Maybe. Nice. There's a slope. Slam to cancel. Into upswing. Oh my god, it keeps hitting bad hit zone. Okay, it's just his arm isn't weak. That's fine. Also, my cat hasn't put it to sleep yet. As I said, I, I literally put sleep on the cat specifically to get a sharpen for free, but uh, it is what it is. Ah, oh, no stagger. Try again. Apparently I hyper-armed it. Hyper-armored it. Okay. Spin. <laughs> okay, I think I did damage to his, uh, what's it called? His leg, so he fell over. Just land this, because it's all I can really do. We're on the wrong side of the slope to actually start the slope. Okay. We are dealing no damage now, just because no sharpness. Okay. Please don't stop sliding as I get there. Thank you. The roar. Bang. Okay, we're going to sharpen. I don't know why he's not continuing that combo either. I guess it's because he's out of 
like enrage every time that he's gotten back to it. But uh, it's definitely quite infuriating that he's not doing the combo he would normally do. Okay. <laughs> that, that also usually doesn't have a, a physical body yet, but that's all good. That's fine, mate. Charge this up. That into these. Maybe finish him off this. There's obviously no slopes or way for me to get off the ground here. So we're just going to send it. And that was that. Kind of upset that at the ledge there we weren't dealing like 700 to 900 a swing. But over here if I was doing the hop we were doing 700 to 900 a swing. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't critting on like the 4 or 5 hits I did. But there you go. There's some more aerial frostcraft hammer. As always, here is the set. I threw it together and I was like, okay, these are the things I need for a build. Obviously, your crit eye, got my agitator charm. I chucked in evade window and I put some extra handicraft slugger and evade extender in there too. With the standard health augment on the weapon because it's the only one I have. Well, everybody, that was the frostcraft aerial hammer build. A fun little niche setup if you only want to do aerial and you have the slope available, you have the ledge available. It was pretty decent. It was fun to do. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.